All right, so this is the stuff you need to get ready here. This is gonna allow you to boot, homebrew, imports, backups, CDRs on American and Japanese consoles. The main thing is I need you to unzip these two things to get ready for your USB drive. And we're gonna pull a file out of this. So you can pause it if you need to, but we're, and then we'll move the file. Okay, once you're in your downloads and they're unzipped, it'll look like this. And this folder here, once you get your model number, I'll show you what it looks like. It's this number here on this tag. The CPH number there. All right, you saw mine says 7501, so we're gonna get the slot two version. And mine is right here. You don't want the slot one unless you're running a mem card pro. We're gonna do a copy, and we're gonna paste that to the thumb drive. And we'll also need the mem card. Annihilator, but we're going to do this file first. And I already had the mem card annihilator there, but you can copy that as well. Just make sure it's unzipped. And you're going to need to leave these files just the way they are. You need them as well because it's not in English if you don't leave those files there. That's the file we'll need. Okay, and I'll meet you at the PS2 now. After you eject your USB drive, plug it into your PS2, and you're going to need that blank memory card. Put that in the PS2 and then turn it on. Just like the instructions said, you know, you're going to have to be booting off free boot, and that's what it looks like. Go to Launch Elf X, and inside of Launch Elf, it changes to O for select. We are going to go to our mass storage. Start Moon Card Annihilator. We need to make sure that that file is there that we copied over. We're going to need that for Moon Card Annihilator. Just starting that up with O. Here's Moon Card Annihilator. Move over to the PS1 memory card you put in. That's X, and you just got to do a restore. Right down here. Now, the newest version, it will show the file if you have an older version you have to select i believe it's r1 or R, no l1 or l2 and that will let you see this file it disables the mass let me show you real quick there it goes file mass disabled so you got it you might have to hit that if you're running an older version if you just select this file that'll give you this warning message to the left, hit X. Alright, once the bar is done, you just hit X and you can shut your PS2 off. Right, you can take your newly flashed memory card out, put it into slot 2. You're going to want your lid open, turn the console on. We're going to test a game. I have a backup and an import. And with the lid open, Just go to memory card once it boots up, and that'll start the Tony Hex International process. All right, and like it says, it wants you to remove the card and shut the tray. All right, testing our import backup, removing the card, shutting the tray. And the message will change once you do that. CD will initialize. And yeah, as you see, you can see it says press zero for game shark codes. That's the feature that allows you to Use game shark codes with your backups and imports and homebrew. And then there's our exploit running. And the game booted. So that's how you make a Tony X International memory card with free mic for PlayStation 1 using PlayStation 2 memory card and other. Thanks, guys.